first, I want to just recognize the crowd. Um, last home game, and there'll be other times to thank everyone again, but um, just can't thank the season ticket holders. All-time high this year. Uh, and we filled those seats this year better than ever. Uh, student body, that's what makes a difference here. When our students come, we have one of the best atmospheres in college basketball. That was certainly the case down the stretch. So, and they're just very appreciative of the people that, that came to individual games throughout the year. Not a student, not a season ticket holder, but kind of latched onto this team. Just very, very thankful. We never take for granted the attendance. We know, you know, you, you spend your money to come to things like this. It's a, it's a compliment to us. And so I just want to thank the crowd, uh, you know, again, on behalf of everybody in our program. Secondly, I just want to tell you how much respect I have for our five seniors. And uh, we put Andrew in that category because he's going to graduate uh, this May. But these five guys have done a lot uh, for tech basketball. And um, the exciting thing is, you know, I get to coach them another day. So these senior days are always emotional. But I've coached a few teams, you know, where you only guaranteed one more game after something like this. But the exciting thing about this group is we, we intend to be together for a long time. We intend to um, have a great March. And uh, we're really hoping to play in April. Coach, uh, how special was it to have Brandon's mom here? Uh, yeah, it was a cool thing. I think, uh, first of all, you know, like some of the NCAA rules don't make much sense to me. It's not my job to talk about it, but this one makes a lot of sense. So the NCAA gives us an opportunity to help um, some families and parents come to senior night based on different factors. But, um, you know, this was a great rule that we executed. And so that um, yeah, was pretty cool. And uh, re regarding these five seniors, uh, for you, what's it like being able to see them all grow up and become mature and uh, see them develop? That's one of the rewarding things of coaching. You know, it's obviously you try to win games and championships, but there's another side of it that's, you know, really more important. You know, let's talk about these five guys. Every one of them has their degree. Three of them are working towards uh, graduate degrees. Um, just all unselfish guys. So. I told the team tonight after the game, you know, Andrew's in practice today. We've just got things we believe in in our process and our culture. And one of the things is when we shoot, if you miss two shots in a row, you hold yourself accountable. Um, we do a one push up or one jumping jack. Some teams this year, I think it's a push up, but I'm just watching practice today with everything going on. And Andrew misses two shots in a row, two good shots, by the way. Um, and then he goes over there and does a push up by himself when nobody's looking. That's culture. And that's discipline, and you know the world's going to talk about Keenan Evans and Jared Culver, but you know I'm telling you guys like Andrew are just as important. Uh, actually, going off that, can you talk about that last shot? What is it like for you as a coach to see someone who doesn't get as much playing time to make a shot on his last game um, or regular season game? Yeah, I didn't like the shot selection. I thought it was kind of a. I told him, good thing you made that. This is what it's all about, Carlos. Like, uh, it's your third year, right? You were here the first year? Uh, seems like yesterday. We just met, Carlos. Uh, oh, it's like the things we talk about, right? You want to be a part of the fight? We are. You want to be trying to play some of your best basketball as March approaches, and you're in March, and then certainly, you know, I'd like to coach in April one day. Um, but, you know, it's, this is this is what uh, we're here for. So just proud of these players. Players deserve all the credit, you know. Like we coaching this team hard and the best we can, but it's players game. And our team's led by these four seniors and Andrew and everything they've done. So I know it feels good to be a part of the fight more than anything. Coach, uh, Coach Smart said that uh, you may be one of the best, if not the best defensive team in the nation. Can you talk on your defense tonight? Yeah, that means a lot coming from Shaka. Um, I mean, I uh, have so much respect for him and what he does there. And I thought tonight was a great example. They came in with a great game plan, gave us all we could handle, and we finally separated a little bit in the second half. But um, defense is our identity. It's our DNA. It's not a surprise. It's what we recruit to, practice for, and embrace, and teach, and demand, and execute. And um, you know, when our when our teams play defense like we did tonight, you know, we're, we're more than competitive. Talk about the game uh, as we get away from the seniors, but the seniors were all around it. Matt Mooney uh, had a great first half. Brandon Francis uh, had a great second half. Uh, talk about how those two guys contributed. Yeah, I mean, more important than senior night is just those are our best players. 
you know, you look at those four guys, uh, Norris and Brandon as returners, um, Tariq and Matt as, um, you know, as starters, grad transfers that came here to put their imprint on the program. So we need those guys to play well. So at the end of the day, you know, every guy on your team's got to contribute. Your best players have to play well in March, and that's what we're getting right now. How impressed were you with the play of your bigs tonight? Norris and Tariq each had uh, three blocks defensively. Yeah, I thought they were dialed in. It was nice to be able to play them together at some points in this game because they are two of our best players. Um, but this league kind of dictates play, playing one big sometimes. College basketball is kind of changing. But um, just proud of those guys. I could talk all day about them. But, um, you know, Tariq is, a, is just a really good basketball player. He gets a lot of credit for the shot blocking, but he's way more than that. Uh, he's a really good player. Uh, and then Norrance is just the ultimate leader. And uh, when Norrance rebounds the ball, he's the best rebounder in the Big 12, I think. Uh, so much more with Norris than the stat sheet shows, whether it be an assist screen, an early help, a shadow help, a, an extra pass. I mean, Norris does so many things. Uh, he's a really good player. Both those guys are going to make a lot of money playing basketball if that's what they choose to do. What did you think of uh, Dennis Rodman being in the, uh, in the crowd tonight, tossing out T-shirts? Yeah, it was a little wild. Uh, Culver walked in. I say, you seen Dennis Rodman? He kind of looked at me. Then he saw Dennis. Like, oh, man, coach in line, true teller. Uh, no, we actually talk about him a lot in our program. One of the all-time energy guys. You know, I had the old poster where he was vertical, converse, diving out of bounds for a loose ball. I've had that my whole career. Um, we talk about him a lot to our team because, to me, he was one of the all-time great basketball players because he was great at what he did. Uh, there's never been a better guy that understood who he was and executed at a higher level. So. Yeah, that was cool having him here. Going off the culture you've created, you bring all the fans down and singing the Matador song. You look at Morrow and you say, sing, Morrow. And he goes, sings, but he says, I don't know the Matador song. How do you approach that going forward? Are you spying on me? <laughs> <laughs> Was that you last night at Whataburger, like looking at me through the glass? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, yeah, so we, uh, you know, we've done so much to try to, improve the in-game experience. And I think we're really on our way, right? We, we got a lot better this year. We can still get better, but we're working. And um, we put the words to the song on the uh, on the screen this year. And some of our players hadn't got the memo yet. So, um, you know, it's, it's a great group of guys to coach. I'm having a lot of fun. And um, I just don't want it to end. This is kind of for both of you, Norrance and Brandon. Your last game in the USA, you guys taking away a great win. How does this all feel right now on the energy after the game, all of it? Uh, it feels great, honestly. Um, we worked so hard for this moment to be 40 minutes away from a championship. Um, just every possession has been tough for us. We just lock in every every single possession, every practice, every rep, every walkthrough, and it's paying off. So it feels it feels great right now. Uh, just very fortunate and thankful, as you can tell. I don't even want to take my jersey off right now. Probably go to sleep with it on. I mean, he's being a dream of mine. Um, you know, and playing for Coach Beard and all of my teammates, uh, along with Norris and Matt and Tyreek, you know, Norris is an older guy that we all respect, you know, one of my favorite teammates all the time. And, you know, Lubbock is a great place, you know. Uh, if you had a chance to do it again, I wouldn't think it twice, you know, just being a dream of mine to be in this position. Brandon, how special was it to have your mom in the crowd tonight? It she was very super special. Excited. It was very special. Uh, I was trying to, you know, don't think about it as much. But, you know, he's my mom. I haven't seen her in a long time. Can't thank enough the coach and, you know, the whole Texas Tech staff and everyone for making that happen. You know, it was very, very special. But I'm more happy that we got the win tonight. How many years has it been since she's seen you? Uh, like three years. So it was, it was just, you know, just thankful, you know, for these people that I have around me. And uh, just trying to give my all when I'm on the court. That's, that's how I pay them back. Norrance, for you, what was it like to have your family out there after all the adversity you've dealt with in the last couple weeks? Uh, it was amazing. Obviously, I'm leaning on my family and on my family here at Tech in Lubbock to uh, bring me up. Uh, uh, also, I just want to thank you guys. Uh, there's so many letters, so many people that's written me letters, sent me thank yous, and uh, I, all I can do is my gratitude and <clears throat> tell them how thankful I am because I can't. I try to reach out to everybody that sends a letter, but, uh, I mean, I'm just telling you that I – I really appreciate it in more ways than uh, I can even express. So that it's been hard, but these guys, I'm leaning on these guys and, and the fans in the community to get me by. So, How does it feel to be <coughs> one step closer to that regular season Big 12 title? Uh, it feels it feels great, but we know like you can't take any game for granted. You know that this is a huge game. It's 
every time, every game it gets bigger. So we'll be locked in. We'll be definitely ready to play this game because it's one and, and our dreams can come true for this game. Norrence, Coach Beard always talks about how much respect he has for you and how much he enjoys coaching you. How do you like being coached by Coach Beard and what has he meant to you? I love it. Uh, whenever you got a tough, hard-nosed coach that is really about his players and is really about discipline and, and those things, and he never stops getting on you about anything. I mean, even after this big win, you'll think, uh, relax a little bit. But, nah, he, he keeps pushing, pushing, pushing. And I like that, obviously. I'm not going to relax. I know our guys aren't going to relax. But it really makes you better. Uh, it gets you to this point where one game and you're, you can – have a chance to be the champion. So it's, it's special. It's great. So uh, this is for Norris and Brandon. Eight game win streak, kind of at the perfect time as we're into March. Do you think y'all are playing your best basketball of the year? We're playing our best ball, but I mean, until you said it, I didn't know we were eight games. We honestly take it one game at a time, especially with this game coming up. One game at a time. We, when you outlook, everybody else looks at the broader, uh, the, the whole scheme of things. But we look at each game, each opponent, each each player, one game at a time. And, and that's how we got to this point. This is for both of you guys. What was your thought process going into this game, you know, last game in the USA, the last time in front of the crowd? Um, it was a lot of emotions going uh, throughout the whole program. We know that we have to go out there and, you know, block that out and, and, and play a basketball game. And uh, I think we did a great job taking care of the ball. I think that's that's what God was going. I think our chemistry is super amazing on and off the court. And it started at the top uh, with Coach Beer. And uh, we just, to be honest, I just felt like after a few minutes after the game, we just locked in and just focused on basketball. But it was great. It was a great experience.